All right, so I continue my awakened story. Um, so, like I said in the twin flame video, my twin finally left. Uh, I was still obviously getting the signs and everything, so um, I figured at that point, obviously, that there was something to understand, something to to seek. So I know at that point you figure out that God is trying to tell you something. You're being called, um, like it, like it's written, right? So pretty much uh, a month later, uh, I got my first Bible. I wasn't. At the time when I met uh, my twin and so on, I was I wasn't like religious or really spiritual or anything. But um, I don't know. I just started to to seek. Uh, I guess seek seek God, seek the truth. You know, like seek trying to understand what was going on why why you meet um, someone that you love so much and unconditionally and yet while well, they're um, so far away from you and it doesn't seem to work out and still you're getting all these signs and stuff so you try to uh, you try to understand so a month later, I finally um, got my Bible. I was starting to look online, look on YouTube. I guess, I guess um, one thing important to mention is that um, so at the end of 2018, um, that's when my twin left, but um, also at some point I just um, heard um, this girl talking about Archangel Michael and pretty much that you um, should call uh, call on him uh, three times or whatever and ask for a bunch of things. So, I mean, ask like for, you know, wisdom, like understanding uh, protection, uh, guidance. Um, you you should write those down and I don't know. Ask uh, ask those things to to God or Jesus to to guide you uh, if you're on the same path. Uh, twin twin flame or not, really anybody should do that. Um, so that's what I did, and you know it was. Uh, I was guided in my understanding, um, so I saw those twin flame videos and stuff, and and yeah, the hundred and forty four thousand and all those things. So I figured, uh, like early um, January twenty nineteen, um, that I should get a Bible, start reading it, start studying it. Um, I started watching videos about the 144 and all that stuff. Um, so I started um, seeking, seeking, and so on. And um, I think I always forget it's in Romans uh, 10, 16, I believe, or 13. Uh, and it says, uh, I'll put it down below. It says, um, everyone who will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, and that, that was, uh, early, very early February, uh, 2019. And this video will be actually about my 
baptism in the spirit, obviously, um, I, I didn't, uh, grow up, uh, Catholic, whatever, but, um, I didn't go to any of those schools, but, um, I got baptized when I was little, you know, and clearly, I mean, to me, if you, if you're reading, if you pause and you read what's on your screen, like, you will understand um after that point um i mean i was getting attacked i guess heavily at some like the dark night of the soul like uh, the previous video but um also um through meditation um at some point i don't know how but i got unplugged from here from this matrix and yeah so some things that i will talk about in the next video so let me get started on um you know telling y'all about my dream um so it was it was a lucid dream um so the whole detail is i left my window open i also left uh for some reason i left um a candle um burning at night because uh you know like if you wake up and gotta go to the bathroom or whatever like it's not so bright in your face as the a lamp or something anyway so i went to sleep like that and while I was asleep I got um, this lucid dream and I woke up I thought I thought it was real um, and I went to, to close the the window because um, I was afraid like even I went to sleep going afraid it was going to rain or something right so when I woke up while in the dream it happened for times i woke up in the in the lucid dream four times that's the first time and um so i went and closed the window and um it seemed like it, it had rain um on the floor already and i was like thinking like that sucks and everything you know right and um as soon as i started thinking that um water uh came pouring out the the wall right next to the window um like a little bit and then a lot and then it was mixed with blood and bam you know it stopped the first time it stops here so i woke up again in the dream and I see on the another wall um, a sort of not a screen really, but kind of. Um, I mean, it was a square or whatever. And it had like three column or something like that. I figured later, like it, you know, it has to do with DNA. Um, but it was going so fast like it was it, it was like i was being reprogrammed well or my, my dna at least um and i just i don't know i just saw that i was those three column like i don't know if it was symbols or hebrew light letters i don't know what it was but yeah it was it was going really fast then it stopped and i i just um and I, I woke up again, um, still in the dream, and I, I looked at the same place of the um, where the screen was, and there was like two hands, um, and it was it was um, doing. I never know how to explain it. It was doing that thing that anyone does when they've been 
getting impatient, I guess, you know, when you put your hands together and, I don't know, you, you start, um, you know, it has to do with impatience or whatever, because I guess, you know, um, those were the ends of God, and like, I took so long to wake up, it took me so much, so it took God even more patience uh, to, to um, wait on me uh, for me to, to, to call on him, uh, call on Jesus uh, to, you know, to get to be born again, which is um, a chapter um, if you're not fam uh, familiar with that you should re read is John 3. Um, New, New Testament, John 3, it talks about being born again uh, to see and enter the kingdom of God, etc. I'll, I'll try to put, uh, put the links below. Um, and the, the first, uh, so pretty much I told y'all that, that the second, third, and fourth um, part of the dream, um, the first one I didn't understand, I was just I don't know, I was going to the bathroom or something, and I saw something under the door, but I'm not sure what it was. I don't know. I used to have a cat, so I don't know. I don't know what that was, the first part. I can't, I can't tell, and it was just as short. Um, so I'm sharing this dream... Um, to talk about, I don't know, to me, the, the, the true meaning of being baptized again. Some people just say you should go to a church and get baptized. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't, I don't know, to me, I wouldn't do that because I don't, I just, I don't connect with any uh, religious belief and uh, or churches or whatever. I don't think anybody really should, and you, you should keep your distance and uh, think for yourself and just let God guide you uh, wherever is best for you and around you and all that but I don't know it's it's something um, I don't know it's important for me to share I guess it's it's a testimony right and uh, I don't know once again take the time to read what's on your screen um so and i just i try to make short videos um i can't think of anything more to tell for now um so yeah i'm gonna stop it here but um do your own research uh, seek god with all your heart and that's the the whole point the whole goal don't uh, don't rely on anybody too much, you know. I'll put verses below um, so you can have an idea. All right. My...